little bit about the film? I can, yeah, Never Let Go. It's about a single mother who's on vacation in an exotic country. She's a little bit postnatally depressed and she's going to escape things. Unfortunately, her child is abducted by some very nasty people and uh, she spends, you know, the next hour and a half uh, almost moment by moment doing anything within her physical and mental powers to take back her child. That sounds intense. I, I hope it is intense. Yeah, that, that was the idea. That was on the top of my script. So, when you're casting for a movie like this, what do you take in consideration? Well, the casting is a funny one because there's always the issue of um, named cast, known actors. And actually, plus that coupled with the fact that I'm an impatient sod to go out and make the film. So, so basically, I knew when I was going to make the film. Uh, and I had an actress in mind, an actress that was just a brilliant actress, not a known person. Uh, her name is Angela Dixon. And I said to her, look, I'm writing this with you in mind, but you, chances are you're not going to get to play the film because I need a name in it. Um, and actually, we had a Hollywood name come on board. A casting director sent it to the first Hollywood name, came on board, said, roles like this are like lightning striking. Can't tell you who that person is, but I was up back and forth meeting them. And in the end, their representatives didn't believe I could, A, make the film. They said, with the budget I had, you're not going to get 10% in. And also, she might be killed during the process, which, you know, that bit I couldn't deny was indeed a possibility. But so in it, and then um, so they pulled out and I just said I'm not waiting for anyone else that was it I'm going the funny thing was I, I didn't tell the cast and crew this but I booked them all including Angela on a flight six months before and I didn't tell anyone until three weeks before we went not a single person said no that's 11 people what does it mean for you to be here at Fright Fest and have the film shown <laughs> um, it's amazing. Uh, I was here two, was it two years ago, I think, with Joseph Milton, who's over there. The wonderful Joseph Milton was in his film, The Dead Two, with Howard. Uh, and I went to the uh, after show party, and one of Howard's friends, who is over there somewhere, uh, she sort of said to me, uh, she winked at me, and she went, I think Howard should have a, a female lead next, don't you think? And I went, Oh yeah, that's a very nice idea. Um, so, so actually, this means a lot uh, uh, to me, really does. And everybody is so friendly and um, very excited. It's a great festival. Have there been any highlights of making this film? Anything that really sticks in your mind that you would like to remember? There are lots of highlights. Um, it, it wasn't the. Uh, it was quite a stressful shoot. <laughs> And there were, you know, it's guerrilla filming, so so you never know what you're going to come up against. I, I think for me, the things that that really stick with me are, are the relationships. Um, certainly, there were times when, you know, we're quite a small team, uh, so certainly there were times when we were all sort of working together almost without saying anything, and that was a really special thing. Um, and the other thing, there were moments. Uh, there's actually a scene that's not in the film. Actually, it's been cut. <laughs> but there are moments when. I felt a, a, a real sense of doing what I was born to do, and that's that's an incredible thing. Yeah. One thing I should mention is I, I started making this movie, and the reason I made this movie is because I nearly lost my own son um, about a year and a half ago while I was on vacation in Malta. I thought he'd actually been abducted from the resort, but all the while he was at the bottom of the pool, and um, and I started to look for him elsewhere, and it was very very close. So not in the Wait, end. At the bottom of the pool. At oh, the bottom of the pool. Was he, drowned? he was basically pretty much drowned at the oh bottom of the pool. Goodness. Yeah, under the water, flailing with it like a body, like a corpse in the way. He was just turned three. Dived in. Thought he was. I thought I was pulling his body out, yeah. and he was uh, thankfully alive. Vomited all over me, which was fantastic. Nice. Uh, yeah, it was actually good moment. Uh, but I, and I was so gripped by fear, and I thought, you know, I'm just a man. You know, um, I have not had this child in my stomach for nine months I cannot possibly imagine I was off the scale you know and I thought why have I not seen this and um, and I couldn't write anything else and it all just came out